Hey everybody, Klaus here, welcome back to more Let's Play Ratchet and Clank in the last episode. We lifted off from Planet Velden, our home world, after taking on board our trusty companion here, which Ratchet is up Clank. Fitting name. This time, we're exploring Novellus. I mean, well, I know I'm certainly going to cringe how I tried to pronounce it last time. <clears throat> Alright, now... I thought Velden was pretty, uh, linear? Not still the case here! Yeah, there are a couple of, um, question marks here that'll indicate the, um, that'll indicate objectives on the map. Yeah, it is up to you what you can choose to do at what time. That is pretty awesome. But I think we're gonna go down this path path right here. <clears throat> now I'd say up front, both missions of this planet are going are to be required and I'm going to cover that at a later point, but for, that, for now, it's in here. And, okay, first time getting hit. I believe that's a wo Robo Squawker. So, Kind of some more basic enemies to just run around and bite you. But what's really cool is that you can get wall jumps. If you can go to a specific wall, they all they all function as jump slots, and you can use that to wall jump. Up here, you got a first of many golden bolts. <clears throat> These are larger than your average bolt, obviously. They're not going to do anything for you right now, but you are going to want to collect as many as you possibly can. And, um, they're not... I'll say right now, they're not going to do anything for the, um, the main story. While that's going on. Go ahead and take out the bird by here. Again, just fairly... Just kind of basic enemies. They have a gun that they, they can fire at a, at a distance, so they're, they're not too terribly threatening. Okay. Gotta collect that. I know it's not really necessary for me to go and collect, collect the, all of the small change. But like I said, you are going to get as much money as you possibly can. I can break you and... Can I make this jump? I don't think I can, no. Fortunately, there are steps I can use to... Just jump up there when I fell to be fancy. I should be able to do it here. No, okay, I just kind of want to try this one more time. A friend of mine pulled it off and he did this blind. There we go! <clears throat> hey, I'm gonna try not to compare, um, <clears throat> playthrough who's too much. It's kind of like how this area looks, even though, um, <clears throat> no sane men would ever come down here. So I kind of get a little bad for those who are stuck at having less dignified jobs, you know, having to be super clears. <laughs> Whatever, job's a job. Be really careful in these narrow walkways. First time playing this. <clears throat> And I do have some stories that <clears throat> I do want to share with me being one of the worst Ratchet and Clank players. This, on the first mission, I fell off this narrow pathway several times. I mean, I barely exaggerating here when I say um, I fell off this about a hundred times before I finally made it here. Plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this goddamn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos <coughs> in their ship. 
got coordinates to a desert planet too. An info bot. Gadget, we could use that. Yeah, you remember how I said that you were gonna need bolts for story progression? This is what I meant. <clears throat> Or one of the things I want to meant. Geronimo! Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Maybe, maybe. This is the solar ship radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close. Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. But we've been hit! When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not going to live that long. Kid, let's damn scream. Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. <laughs> freaked out? Yeah. That's a bit of an earnest statement. <clears throat> we got coordinates for planet Iridia. I think we can moon jump to planet Iridia. We don't need a ship to travel to that planet. No, we are going to need a ship to go there. So we can't do that quite yet. But I'm going to get that out of the way. Also, something I don't understand. Okay, you see this corner here? Why does this function as a dump slot? This... Okay. This wall right here doesn't count. This window here. I, I, I guess I, I guess it kind of, okay. That makes sense. I mean, this bit here kind of counts as a jump slot, so I guess we're just jumping off of that. But still, just why? It doesn't serve any real purpose. But, from down here, we're gonna follow the plumber! And get a ton of bolts on the way down. <clears throat> yeah, we are paid for extending ourselves up. So, right here, this is a Gadgetron vendor. This is where you're gonna be buying your new weapons. Such as this, the Pyrus Sec. Oh yeah, 2,500. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <clears throat> Basically, you are gonna want that weapon for an upcoming mission. Trust me, it will be a godsend in that mission. So you're gonna want to make sure you pick that up. I'm gonna take you out. And, okay, I gotta take a moment moment and just praise the soundtrack, especially for this planet, one of the first planets to actually um, explore. How about I let you get acquainted with the music real quick? I'm gonna say, and credit this. This isn't the um, <clears throat> only time you'll hear this incredible song, but I just wanted to, you know, give you a chance to actually hear it. Alright, you out, and you out as well. I do appreciate the fact that you come armed with a um, weapon, but at the same time, there's not really much you need to worry about. I mean, the, uh, the bird bot's blast isn't. It doesn't have very good shot rate, as I'll say that. It kind of makes a pretty poor weapon. <laughs> uh, gotta be frank with you. Okay, now I've been using my range quite, my range quite a bit. On personal playthroughs, I just use the uh, Gadgetron weapons for combat, and I just use my wrench to crack any kind of crates open. It kind of concerns on ammo that way, so. Yeah. Right here. 
this is something we're going to want to remember. It will be actually pretty useful when the time comes for us to get this. You can try to get it now, but the water current is too strong, we can't. So we're going to want to, going to, want to remember that for later. We have no ways of fighting the current now. Also, this is this is tip of the iceberg, but some of the enemy designs are just eh, strange. <clears throat> Too pretty cool, but there are some enemies that are that are pretty cool, but some are just strange, kind of like the bird bot. Also, yeah, I don't know what that ship steal was. It, if the idea was stop ratchet, um. <clears throat> You did a piss poor job. You only broke sections of the bridge rather than trying to, you know, actually be common and destroy the entire bridge, which would have stopped Racket its Racket dead on his tracks. But, what is? Gameplay convenience. I can't complain. Crack it open. These are, these Gadgetron crates are pretty, um, I'd say, we're also going to crack this open as much as you can because you can get free ammo out of that. Really, really good that you do so. <clears throat> wow, can we say poor security system or what? All we have are three bird bots. Okay, now this is something I'll do personally. <clears throat> it is actually pretty stupid, but. I like to break open all these crates around the ship before I take out the last bird bot. Just take out two, crack open the crates, and then take out the last bird, last bird bot. It doesn't do anything. This is how I like to do things. Don't ask me why, I just kind of really like that. Like, excuse me. Can I just thank you? Mercenaries, torturers, assassins, I, I'll tell you anything. Here, take my info box. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on, let's see what he's got. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than stirring down a Blargy and Snagglebeast from the inside, and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee-high to a stand mount. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's Robo Shack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. <coughs> Al's RoboJack, it's Quarktastic! Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. <laughs> well, uh, a ship? What, you're not going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. <clears throat> okay, we got coordinates to Karwan as well. Very nice. Something I also like quite a bit is that <clears throat> this game will also give you um, <clears throat> a bit of crossroads to decide which one you want to go to as well. Now, I could take the ship and go to either one of those planets right now, but I'm going to ignore that and <clears throat> take a bit of a, a scenic path, we'll say. You know, let's go down a route that doesn't have any kind of mission to it, and as we get introduced to, our buddy, the Bold Crank! 
I gotta whack it and make sure it's on our side, you know? You, you can trust objects nowadays. <laughs> Just like to run into it and circle around it. It's pretty simple. Also, welcome to my favorite cave, the Mushroom Cave. <clears throat> yeah, this is where I get mushrooms, man. This is where you can get a pretty decent high. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Drug jokes aside. <laughs> no. You need to get bolts for breaking them. So I guess, say no to drugs, you get money for it. Oh, I'd, I'd happily get paid to say no to drugs. I mean, free money, right? Okay, so right here you gotta press square to dive. That meter is Ratchet's oxygen. <clears throat> if you stay under for too long, that is instant death. Yeah. You don't take damage. You just instantly die. So, be careful. That's all I'm gonna say. Gonna take out the robo squawkers, even though they're not too much of a consequence. Gonna take your bomb glove, break that open, and you get not only a ton of money, but a golden bolt as well. We've we got everything that we can here at this current moment. Go ahead and get that. DIE MUSHROOMS! I'm not sure if they've actually done it yet, but... <clears throat> I have seen an argument on, uh... Was I think it was Twitter. By someone pushing to legalize shrooms. I mean, why would you try to legalize a horrible drug like that? I mean, come on. Uh, I swear, California has lost its mind. <clears throat> but... I guess that aside... I got way more than enough bolts I need to buy the power sector. Hell yeah! I'm gonna maximize the ammo to boot. Now the reason why I, um... really suggested to get the power sector... That can be apparent until a little bit long longer. Trust me, you are gonna want this. But for now, I'd say we're good to end things off here. Next time on Let's Play, we will go to Planet Carwine. Why am I doing this? It's a waste of bolts. I have no idea. See you guys then.